Hi guys, this is Tash, the Starcross Stitcher. How are you all going? <laughs> um, it's been about a week since my last video and I've got a few things to show you. I literally just went to the Framers and picked something up and I'm really excited about it and I can't wait to show you all. <laughs> Look at that. Ta-da! Oh, there's terrible glare, no matter where I aim at. Lots of glare. This is Firefly Fairies by Lavender and Lace. Um, I finished this in April this year. I started this in... Oh look, there's me. Hi! Um, <laughs> I started this in, I think, around 2004. Um, so it took a long time. I had to get this frame because I will be giving it to my niece on her birthday in next month. Um, her sixth birthday, so I'm sure she'll like it. I hope she does. I'm trying to get rid of the glare. There's just a lot of glare. So there we go. The frame is... I think it's too narrow. I think it would have been much better with a much thicker frame. You can see um, he put in a razor so that the glass didn't sit on the beads. And he actually said that he covered it with a piece of fabric that was a similar colour to the fabric that I used. Um, so yeah, it looks lovely, I think. God, I don't like this at all anymore. <laughs> Every time I look at it, I hate it more. <laughs> um, he left a lot of space around the outside. I was trying to sort of get him to bring it up more, but he wanted to get all of the starburst in, and then he wanted sort of an even amount of fabric on the bottom as there was on the top. Um, you know what? I, it's fine. <laughs> I like it, and I know my niece will like it, and it's done. And so, this cost me, the framing cost me $190 just regular glass and it's this gold surround um, it's really nicely covered up at the back he didn't lace it but he did use um, um, archival quality staples not tape or anything um, stainless steel staples or something he said um, so look I'm happy I don't care if it doesn't last forever it's not supposed to really it's only until <laughs> Until my niece decides she's sick of it, because I'm already sick of it. It looks good. Looks good. I hope she likes it. Um, yeah, so that cost me $190. I'd be really interested um, to hear from other Australians, especially in Canberra or Sydney area, um, how that sort of stacks up with the prices you get for your framing, because I just don't know how much I'm supposed to pay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I kind of thought that would cost more, so I'm happy. Okay. So let's talk about progress. I've been stitching, of course. Um, I did, since I saw you, I did a bit more work on Game of Nouveau. And here is where I'm up to. Look how big this huge thing is, and I've just done this tiny amount here. So you can see I've got a piranha plant done. Isn't he cute? I love him. My god, there is so much confetti in him, though. So much confetti. It's ridiculous. It took me. 12 hours just to stitch the plant and the leaves underneath. 12 hours, guys! <laughs> I'm starting to think that this isn't worth it. No, not really. I love it and I know it's worth it. When it's finished, it will look like this. I'll stick a picture in here. Um, yeah, look at her. She's worth it. Um, yeah, this is a mess though. As you can see, I kind of moved away from um, parking in columns here. Uh, I just sort of stitched anything in the area that matched the colour I currently had threaded up, which I guess is what cross country is, <laughs> um, which I enjoy doing, but it made my back a real mess. Check that out. Yeah, not pretty. Not pretty. Um, but <laughs> you know what? No one's going to see the back except me and you guys, because I just showed everybody. So there you go. That's Game of Nouveau. Um, and I was stitching away on that. And I, it was last Saturday, and I said to Tim, I should finish this page, but I really want a new start. And he's like, oh, just have a new start. I'm like, what? He goes, just have a new start. You don't have to finish the page. You'll finish it one day. I'm like, yeah, I will. <laughs> he said, it's nice when you get excited about stitching. I want to encourage you. I'm like, why? <laughs> why are you making me have new starts? Why are you encouraging me to have more whips? Because I already have 27 or something. He's like, you enjoy it, do it. I know you'll get them all done. You finish things all the time, it's all right. Isn't he good? I 
I'm very lucky, guys. He's a nice, he's a good guy. All right, so I did have a new start, and I started Siren JD. Oh boy, you guys can see straight through. Um, and this is where I got up to. So don't mind the needle minders. That's an elephant needle minder from Needle Attractions. This one is one that I made myself. Um, yeah, I just thought it looked good in that spot in the middle there. I wish I had something to put behind, but I kind of don't really. That's a little bit better. Ugh. There we go. So there's Siren JD so far. This is stitched one over two on 32 count uh, black Belfast from Zygarde. And I think this looks so gorgeous. The colors are gorgeous. This floral area, just stunning. I mean, just so pretty. Um, when it's done, I only have my photocopy here, it's not good. I'll stick a picture in because the picture will look better. When it's done, it will look like this. I think it's gorgeous. The reason I'm doing this is because it is, these are tie motifs and I've been looking for something to stitch to, uh, to commemorate. <laughs> no, just to remind me of my trip to Thailand and other Southeast Asian countries um, last Christmas. So this is my Thailand sampler. I'm also looking for something um, from Cambodia, something to represent Cambodia. I'd really love an Apsara dancer, but I just can't find anything right. Um, I also went to Vietnam. There's a few Vietnamese, God, my hair's a mess. I'm a mess. There's a few um, Vietnamese looking sort of patterns out there, but nothing I've really liked very much yet. Um, and also Malaysia. We also went to Singapore. Um, but I don't think there's anything that's really like Singaporean. Um, yeah, Malaysia. I'd love to do something that's like a batik sort of thing. I don't know. So, I don't know. It's difficult to find, um, cross-stitch representations of countries like that. There's tons of stuff about European countries and America, of course. Okay, sorry about that. I got interrupted by a Skype call. Um, my nephew likes to play Minecraft with me. We already played for an hour this morning. Um, so I told him we'll play a little bit later and hopefully he won't call me back again. Um, so yeah, I started Siren JD. I really love it. I put it down today because I had a new start. It's the 17th and I'm doing Year of Starts in Stitch Mania. Um, and my new start for today was this little one. Holiday Stocking from Mill Hill. And I'm just... I've only done a few hours this morning. I've nearly finished the actual stocking. I'm just adding the green beads. Um, and then this one will be done. I love these bugle beads down here. I've never used bugle beads before. So there's that. I still obviously have to do all the little bitsies that go at the top. What's that bit called? The brim of the stocking? The turn down? <laughs> um, and a heart and a teddy bear. That'll go on another piece of silk gauze. Sorry, another, <laughs> another piece of perforated paper. Um, yeah, so that's my progress so far on this one. I think it looks very cute. I'm doing these because I want to give them to family friends as Christmas gifts. Obviously at Christmas time. We're going away at Christmas time this year with my parents, um, my brother's parents-in-law and my partner's parents, Tim's parents. Um, so that'll be <laughs> interesting and fun, I hope. Um, we're going to Wiseman's Ferry, we're going to take Dad's boat, we'll stay in a hotel, we'll have a nice lunch on Christmas Day, it'll be good. Um, the only other stitching, yeah, the only other stitching I have to show you is And a Forest Grew. I worked on this yesterday morning, uh, and I just did this tree and these three little trees there. So this, of course, is looking gorgeous so far. It's And a Forest Grew by Rosewood Manor. I know everybody has heard of this and probably seen this by now. The fabric, I don't know, it's it's a 35 count. It looks like a natural sort of oatmeal-y, I would say unbleached linen. Um, and it's stiff like witch out, but I just got it from my mum's stash and she had meters and meters of it all rolled up and it was unmarked, so I really don't know. It's just something natural looking. And it's pretty, I love this. I love it, I think it's my favorite whip. One of my one of my top five favorite whips. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm doing this as a stitch along with my mum. We're doing two motifs a week. 
um, you know, if there's a little bunch of trees that are all the same, that's one motif, like here. Like these three trees, that's one motif. And then a big tree like that is one motif, or like a bird, a rabbit, whatever. Um, so I think it's been 16 weeks now, because I think I have 32 motifs on here. So that's fun. I love this. I just love it. I can't stop. When I'm working on it, I spend so much time just looking at it. This fox is just beautiful. I love it. Okay, that's end of forest screw, and that's all the stitching I've done in the last week. Not so much, but we're getting there. I'm excited to get back to Sir and JD as soon as I finish this Christmas ornament. Um, okay, so last week I was talking about new starts for 2018 and Year of Whips for 2018, and I've been thinking more about Year of Whips, and I actually went and watched the video and read the rules for next year, and they've changed a bit. One thing that's changing is that the um, you have to have a secret whip. Um, it has to be something that represents soulful stitching. Um, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Soulful? Soulful. Soulful. I, I don't know. I don't really understand the word soul. I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm not really into the idea of a secret whip, to be honest. I... <laughs> And I don't, and I hate the I hate the idea of starting a whip just for some stitch along or something. The other thing about the um, year of whips that's changed is that there won't be postcard pals this year, and that's kind of the reason one of the reasons I wanted to join. Number one, I want to get work done on my whips, yes. But number two, I wanted to have a postcard friend and and um, you know make a friend somewhere else in the world and exchange gifts and messages and catch up with each other and you know that's the part of it that actually looked like a lot of fun to me so now I'm kind of not feeling it so much honestly so I'm not sure if I'm going to do that but I've heard a lot of people a lot of people yeah a few people talking about the fact that we've all hoarded all of these out of print charts in our stash and um, it's something I have been thinking about recently I should I feel like I should actually get them out and work on them and then get them back into circulation. Send them out to someone else so that they can stitch it and and then it can make its way around us, the stitching community again. Because these out of print charts, some of them are beautiful and we should be stitching them and using them and sharing them and passing them on. So I've got some here. These are all the out of print charts I have. It's not actually all of them. There's a few, a couple of Teresa Wenzel ones I have that I don't think you can still get anymore. I have gold paint on my hand. I wonder if that came from the frame, because I don't know what else I touched that's gold. Hmm. Um, I was talking about out of print charts. Um, yeah, so I've got a pile here. I have a few others that aren't here um, that I'm just not ready to stitch yet. Um, they're Teresa Wenzel ones. I already have a Teresa Wenzel in pro in process, um, and I can't handle having to resources on the go at once um, yeah but the the ones I'm thinking of are the Millennium sampler and the Nativity sampler and the Egyptian sampler and <clears throat> excuse me and um, I actually don't know if I even want to stitch well at least Millennium and Nativity I don't know that I like those enough to actually stitch them so I could just pass them straight on and I might um, but the Egyptian one I definitely want to stitch so my plan is to I guess start the Egyptian one once I finish trade wins which is the one I'm working on um, so yeah they're not in this pile but I've got a few here that I'd like to talk about now I showed you some of these last week I know I showed you Shroomhilda I think this chart I saw this one on eBay recently and it was like $30 um, and then, of course, it's like $40 for postage to Australia. Who, see how thin this is? It's like four pages long. Who is going to pay $31 for postage to Australia? What is going on with eBay and American postage prices? I don't understand. Every chart I look at is postage $31 or $26. No, no. There's no way this costs $31 to post to Australia. There's no way. It really makes me cranky. <laughs> Ugh. And I think of the number of things I've not bought because they've been a, a great price, a reasonable price, something I really want, but I'm not paying 36 
no, $31 for postage to Australia. For this. For four, four pages. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm going to start this next year because I think she's gorgeous and she's out of print and I'd love to pass her along to someone else to stitch once I've done her. So yeah, that's Shroomhilda by um, Dimples Designs, which is Terence Nolan. Uh, the next one is obviously My Holy Grail chart, Medieval Majesty, It's All Black Work by Leon Conrad. I'll have to start this one next year. This is Strawberry Sampler by The Needles Praise. I actually have quite a few other Needles Praise charts. Um, but I'm not ready to stitch many of the others yet. I haven't given them up. I'm not ready to start. Um, also, my mum has about 30 of The Needles Praise. My mum's stash is insane and it's full of out of print char um, charts and kits. Um, and I'd love to dig into hers, but I'm going to start with mine just as a starting point and then we'll get on to hers. So this one I'll probably start next year and that's all kitted up here. Um, this is from Heaven and Earth Designs. I have quite a lot of Heaven and Earth Designs patterns that are out of print, but most of them I have digitally and those can't be passed on. But the, this one is a printed one. Yeah, I bought it in a shop, it was printed out, so this can be passed on. Uh, this is Wind by Sheila Walk. And I'd love to stitch her, so I might start her next year. This is Principia by Cross-Eyed Cat. And if you're a science nerd, you'll probably love this. Newton's Law of Universal Attraction, keeping the universe together since 1687. And it's all black work and I think it's really cute. And I'll do that next year. This one I love quite a lot. Um, I don't know why it's taken me so long to actually start it. It's called Silver Medieval Sampler and it's by uh, Designs THC and that company is no longer producing their designs and I think it's really pretty. It's got a fountain and a unicorn and an alphabet. I think it's so pretty and I'm sure I have a piece of fabric that this will work with although it will be nice to get something opalescent so I might pick something up. Um, it's all stitched in shades of grey and white, so I think that'll be nice. This one, Peaceful Paradise, um, by Midsummer Night Designs. And if you've never seen this one before, it was quite popular a few years ago, I think. Um, I just think it's so cute. I have mixed feelings about this. So, it's basically some... I don't know which one. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures, etc, etc. Um, so it's that psalm. <laughs> and there's all the angels flying around and the sun and moon at the top. I think it's so sweet. And the little sheepies on the hill over here. It's so sweet. Um, but I'm just... I'm not religious. And... I don't know if I... want to stitch this, if I want this up in my house. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I could sell it because I know there's a lot of people who want it and would love it. But I, I'm still kind of hanging on to it. Like I still kind of want to stitch. Oh! Where is... I also have And They Sinned. Um, exemplar names? I know that's out of print. It's that really long one um, that a few people have shown and talked about. I have that. I bought it when it came out. Um, and I feel the same way about that one. I don't know where it is. I didn't see it in my charts. It must be in a box. I hope it's maybe my mum has it. Um, so yeah, this one. Maybe I start it, maybe I don't. I should sell it if I don't because someone will stitch it. Um, then I've got Mirabilia's. This one is the Halloween Fairy. Um, I don't think I'm going to stitch this. I think I'm just going to sell it because I don't want it. I think it cost me 50 bucks. $50 American for this. And I think it's hard to find, in Australia at least. So I might stick that on eBay. Um, and then I think these mirrors are all out of print. There is Moonlight Lullaby. And I thought this would be, I could take this out and just do birth details so it would be a nice birth sampler um, for someone who I cared about enough to stitch a mirror. Um, this is Baby Boat. 
I don't love it. I don't know why I have it. This is the Dreamer. I do love this. She's pretty. Um, Sarah Titsy Stitcher is currently stitching her. This is from 1994. That's a long time ago. I think she's beautiful. I love her beautiful yellow dress. Uh, I'd like to stitch her. I could start her. She's a maybe. Um, Mother's Arms. See how old this is? It's like really old packaging. Um, this is 1995. And I love this so much. But I'm not stitching this next year. I'm saving this. I want to stitch this when I'm pregnant with my baby. Which will probably be in like 50 years. It'll never happen. Um, but I'm hanging on to this until I'm ready to stitch it. So I know it's in demand, but I'm hanging on to it. I don't care. Uh, the Kiss. I love The Kiss. I love this. This is 1995 as well. I really love it. I just think it's so nice. I could start this next year. That's a maybe. Uh, I love this one too. <laughs> Elizabeth and the Lavender Sky. This is also 1995. I must be really feeling the 90s vibe. And it's almost full coverage. Actually, so is The Kiss. And so is Mother's Arms. Um, yeah, gosh, she's gorgeous. I'd love to start her. That's a maybe. Villa Mirabilia. I think um, I'm in a group of stitches on Facebook. Um, just a, a group chat um, with some of the stitches that we all met at the Mirabilia retreat this year. And someone mentioned, oh, let's do a Villa Mirabilia stitch along next year. So is that still happening, guys? Joe, Claire, Sarah, Jan, <laughs> anyone? <laughs> is this still happening? Because if it is, I got the pattern, I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, I was looking for fabrics for it. The best one I have is this, which is a 32 count Wexford linen called Carol's Meadow from Silk Weaver. Mm, I don't know if it's perfect. I don't... Like it's nice that there's some pink in the fabric and it'll pick up the pink in the dress, but the pink in the dress is much purplier, so I don't know. I might find something else. Yeah, I'm gonna have to buy some fabric before next year, I think. Um, and the last out of print mirror I have is the Seaside Kingdom, which I also love. Um, yeah. I believe the problem with this one is a lot of the, tr it calls for a lot of treasures, and I think a lot of them are out of print, which sucks. You know what really annoys me? When you buy a pattern that says brand new, never used, and someone's written in pencil on it. Like, that's not never used. I can see it's been bent back. You've torn the sticker and you've written on it in pencil. That is not brand new and unused. It's not. Anyway, I don't care. It's, in it's intact, it's perfectly stitchable. So yeah, I see, so I could sell all of these, but I'm not going to. I might sell these two. I might sell Baby Boat, I might sell Moonlight Lullaby. But all of these, I need to stitch. And the ones I might stitch next year are Elizabeth and the Lav Lavender Sky, Villa Mirabilia, Seaside Kingdom, The Kiss, and The Dreamer. Can I start five mirrors next year? One, two, three, four, five. Can I start five mirrors? I'm also starting Merchant Mermaid for November. The six mirrors at once too much. Also, I still have Red Skies at Night going, and I still have to stitch the other three of the Bellas, the Nora Corbett Bellas. So, <laughs> that's a lot of Mirabilia. <laughs> um, but that's it for my out-of-print charts. I have a stack this big of charts that I want to put on eBay and sell, pass on to other people. Um, most of them are like leisure arts charts from the 90s. Um, but there's a few nice ones in there. There's a, a Chatelaine that I already have digitally, and few other things. So yeah. I don't know when I'm going to sell those. We're moving house in three or four weeks. I think four weeks. Maybe five weeks. Might be the 20th of October. October. Um, yeah, I think that's five weeks away. So, hmm. Oh, one minute. I'm back. So since we're talking about out of print charts, my battery is at 15%. Um, so I'll make it quick. Um, 
I actually realized I already have a few out of print charts on the go that I will very much try to work on and finish next year. Um, I'm doing Regal Peacocks by Teresa Wensler. Um, it's a small that was in the Just Cross Stitch Spring 2000 and uh, January, February 1989. Um, Regal Peacocks. So, um, I also have another Cross Eyed Cricket one. No, Cross Eyed Cat. Um, this is the same company who did the Principia, the Newton's Laws of Motion. Uh, this is called Angle of Love. And it's a funny, nerdy love heart. So that's in progress and should get done soon. Uh, this is the sewing chest of Nantucket Sister Sailor Sarah Elliott. And I need to finish this by 2020, for my mum's 60th birthday. So that, and then when I'm done, I'll send it out into the world. Then there's also Celtic Sampler by Vanita's Praise. Um, Wallace is this one. This is the one I'm working on so far. Um, there's another one, Robertson, that's also in here. Um, yeah. Where is it? Robertson. Robertson. So yes, both of those. These are the ones I'm currently working on. This one definitely won't get done next year. I just know it. <laughs> this is a multi-year project. Um, this is bigger than a hay. Not bigger than a hade, but it takes longer, in my opinion. Okay, and that's all the out of print designs that I would like to finish and get pushed out into the world so someone else can stitch on them. Um, and that's all I have to say for today. My battery's at 15%, so I'm going to say goodbye and start uploading this. Sorry I look so terrible today, but it's because I'm having a nice quiet weekend and I didn't feel like making myself pretty. Tim's away, so I don't have to. Alright guys, that's it from me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Stop. Stop.